Cancer. You ready? Uh, you want to get ready? Get ready. So listen, this is a sense of, um, honestly, what you got to get ready for is to use your voice is to let people know that you're stuck, to let people know that you need help and do not be scared of it at all. This is the time to absolutely, so there's a few different things going on in the cards and they probably play out together because ultimately what it means is there are blockages that are being removed. And what they have to do with is A, you trying to do everything on your own, um, being very isolated, feeling like if you don't do it on your own, then you didn't really earn it. Like all of those things inside of you have to be recognized as problems and you have to stop to be like, put that to a side or completely get rid of it and throw it out, burn it, cast it away, let it go and say, no, you know what? If I need help, that's okay. It's okay for me to need help. Um, not only is it okay for me to be, need help, I'm just going to fucking start asking for it because ultimately there's a sense of, um, there's just this sense of, um, I can be on the receiving end every once in a while of, of assistance. Um, I don't always have to be that person who is giving to feel validated, you know, to feel good enough. No, I don't. Um, there is a sense of really just letting, letting your truth be vocal right now using your voice to speak your truth instead of hiding it or pretending like there isn't anything that's going wrong or anything that's bothering you because because it there is something that's bothering you and the thing that's bothering you is that block whatever part of your life that block is in it's that block and it's 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 so fucking frustrating and you don't you're not I'm telling you right now I'm just going to say it to you you're not going to have it for much longer no no, there's help that's coming. You know, in the dead of night, when you think that, like, when when you least expect it, and it could very well be half. half ah, I'm sorry about that. Um, it could very well have to do with um, a relationship, or not a relationship as in a romance, but in a network or a connection that you didn't know that you made, you didn't know that you had, or um, something just saying randomly once one day, you know, I really need help doing this, or I really need to find a way to do this, or I really want need to get into doing this. And ultimately, there's this sense of that coming through for you. Um, you know, you have had setbacks recently. You have had struggles. There have been just, uh, uh, just like um, blockages, like and not even just blatant impediments, more just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, uh, is any anything happening here? Like, like, you know, that kind of feeling of why is nothing moving? Um, um, so there have been setbacks and there have also been denials, a sense of, nope, fuck it. We don't, we don't want you or, you know, a feeling like it's just, it's like, you're never going to be good enough and things are never going to break through. There's that sense of, listen, a time to get, I'm, I'm totally serious. Look at the way the cards fell out. Um, I'm, I like, I'm totally not playing here. A time to give rather than take and then bam, nothing will come of this situation. So fuck giving. It's not a time to give rather than take. It is a time to get yourself involved. You know, I mean, when you give to others, it makes you feel empowered. But with when it comes to us, there's a sense of giving to others way too much and it kind of draining us. And we kind of get lost in giving ourselves to others. And then what do we have left for ourselves? We never ask for fucking help. We never do. And then, bam, it's like we just give too much. So literally the cards are like, fuck that. No more of that. Stop that. Enough of it's time to give rather than take. Fuck that. Nothing will come of that anymore. You need to be on the receptive end. You need to take. And I don't mean take bad or take mean or steal. No, I mean you need to ask for what you need and not let anybody able to ignore it, be able to ignore it anymore. It, it needs to be something that you have to speak. Use your words. Do not, do not, do not move forward without using your words with this energy do not move forward without using your words and making very, very clear what it is that you desire. Because asking right now is going to make the difference. Communication is key. Okay? It's not messing around. Universe is not messing around. 
Um, you need to speak up and use your words. I have had conversations with Gemini's, um, and I say only say Gemini's because of, of this card coming up. It's Gemini um, energy, and it's a challenge. It's a, it's a challenge for us, you know. And the North Node is in Gemini too, so it's a challenge for us to say what we what we feel. We always feel like our feelings aren't important, or that somebody won't care about the things that we feel. Those things are just absolutely not true. And a lot of times, the reason why they don't get paid attention to is because um, we don't we don't we don't let them be paid attention to. But somehow in our mind, there's that self defeating belief of, well, if I have to ask, then somebody doesn't care. That is absolutely incorrect. It's an impediment inside of us. And it's that trash that we have to take out because this new moon is coming up. Check this out. You have two moons. You have all these new moons, like all the moon cards, all the, I'm not even kidding you. All the moon cards, except for this, all the moon cards are new. You got new, 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 new. This new moon coming up is a new chance for you. It's a new start. It's a new, it's coming. Right? A new start is coming. Your hard work is paying off. And what once seemed impossible because there's just been setback after setback after setback and nothing was happening, it's starting. It's coming. It's coming. So, ouvre la bouche, okay? Open that mouth and say exactly what it is that you need for your boundaries, for your comfort level, as well as, you know, I'm confused. I, I don't know which way to go. Or, I do need help. Somebody help me. Or, you know, I feel like I'll never get there. Like, speak up and communicate about the situations that you're really struggling with. This is all about communications. This is, this is about new communications. Virgo and Gemini energy. Using your words to ask for what you want. It is very difficult for us meditate and contemplate this energy of just like getting to our feelings and taking our feelings and translating them into communications it is so important right now for us to say exactly what it is we need and stay far far away from this line and your cancer is just like me so I know you've said it before oh nothing I'm fine I don't, that's the one thing I don't want to hear coming out of any of our mouths in this energy. Instead of, oh, nothing, I'm fine. I want to hear, I'm really not fine. I'm completely confused. I, I feel like this is never going to happen for me. Or guess what? I still have this amazing idea and I'm really tired of it getting ignored. So how about this? You look at me and you pay attention. Or, no, actually, this is what I need. You know, I've done the numbers, and to be honest with you, I'm going to have to take a financial hit if I do it this way, and I'm not going to take a financial hit. So you're either going to pay me what you need to pay me, or we're going to say good day. Thank you very much. Like, that's the kind of very clear communication that is going to be a huge breakthrough for you right now. And I'm telling you, Cancers, don't doubt the power of your will because you have such a strong will. And ultimately, there's just that sense of saying it out loud, living it out loud, because it's almost like it's almost like um, a representation of who you are right now, that sense of um, when I'm saying what I really want out loud. I'm actually living out loud, you know, and, and so people are going to finally see me. Why? Why do I say this? Bam. Shout, scream, yell, break through that facade that you wear of, oh, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. No, you need to scream and you need to shout and you need to yell and you need to be unfair. And this could be a very, very emotional process. Of, uh, this be, could be a very emotional process for you. If you have recently flown off the handle or screamed or you were being yelling a lot, don't fucking worry about it because nothing's going to happen. You know, you are, I, I can tell right now you're already feeling guilty about it. You're already, no, don't worry about it. No, no one's going to, you scream and you yell. People scream and you yell all the time. Nobody feels guilty about it. You, we're Cancerians. We feel guilty about it. No, you got to get it off your chest. Scream and yell. Like that's part of you actually living your truth. And that's a strength that is going to carry you so far up that mountain where you never thought you'd be able to climb. But there is definitely help coming to the rescue. This is the night watch. This is kind of like, hold on. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's, there's a sense of don't, don't worry about it, man. 
Don't worry about, oh, I, now I understand. Because I'm sitting here like, what do you mean oh, it's time to give rather than take? That doesn't fit. No. You know what it is? It's this Virgo energy. You know what it's time to give? It's time to give your attitude. It's time to give your attitude problem. It's time to give your opinion, just like a Virgo would. It's time to tell your truth and speak your truth and be judgmental and say exactly what's on your mind without giving a shit about what anybody thinks about you. That's what it's time to do because honestly, your truth is going to take you to your true path. Your truth is going to take you to your true person. It's you being your truth out loud that connects you to your actual truth and where you belong. It's you hold you. If you felt any blocks, it's because you've been holding back. You haven't been asking for help. You haven't been living your truth. You haven't been letting people see who you really are. And whether, whether you be a Karen or a conqueror, it doesn't matter. What matters is if you're not really you out loud, you never end up around the people who are really your soul tribe. I've said that to you guys before, but look at this. And this card reminds me of cancers every single time because it reminds me of the Ace of Cups. It's like unexpectedly from some random place that you never would have thought help is going to come you think it's all, all these peddly little things like um these people would never be able to help me or 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 you would just you, it's it's like hidden it's like in other words it's coming in the dark it's it's coming um it's coming from a place that you would never expect it to come but help is coming it's on its way there's going to be some breakthroughs especially with stuff that you've been doing that is creative so it could just be inspiration right if you've had writer's block or something like that but I don't think it's just that. I think it's that you have, you have, you have tried something over and over again creatively and you never got any kind of a breakthrough. And it was, all, it's almost like you were just lost in terms of the creative process, not just a creative process, but in terms of like making something of it or getting an opportunity from it. It just, it just never came. There was always a block. And, and now all of a sudden it's like there's no block. The, what, what was held back from you is now coming to you. Um, and, and it, I don't, I don't think I'm saying this to you. I don't think it's, it's inspiration for an idea. I think it's somebody finally recognizing your idea. I think that's the opportunity that's coming through because there's some sort of commitment to your studying or the written word or what you've done. There's a sense of really, really learning and really grinding and really opening your, opening your mind up, a real commitment to understanding that, you know what, there could be financial difficulties, financial struggles. You may have been learning about your finances and about, hey, what's going wrong? What's blocking me? What's causing my blocks financially? Going through your books, learning how to be a better business person um, or some sort of creative thing that you were working on that you were trying to make work that just wasn't coming you weren't making money out of it it wasn't it wasn't going over guess what bam yeah now it's breaking through there's some sort of success that's happening and shining on you and it's it's got to do with a supportive community um, or finding, finding a soul tribe, finding pe finding the people who is your market, you know, the people who really would appreciate you. It's like, it's coming through a loving and supportive community. Check this out. You may be traveling and I don't understand this at all, but there is a sense of traveling coming up, but definitely messages coming through maybe from far away. Um, but movement, physical movement and, uh, communications movement, suddenly, um, uh, messages are coming through or you're moving around there's progress that's what i'm saying there's progress that's being made and double whammy there's something here there's a pattern or a motif coming wedding 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 but i just think this is commitment you know it's commitment to moving to making the move or being committed to moving around or being willing to move this is a commitment something is a commitment to moving signing a contract committing yourself to making maybe you're buying a new house right you're getting that mortgage approved or um or now you know where you want to live or there it's it's just it's it's a it's a commitment it's 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 um ugh, sorry it's signing a contract that's what this is now you may have to read over the contract because it has something to do with some heavy finances but ultimately um somebody somebody's coming through for you um let's get into the spirit guide messages this is really interesting you know this year has been extremely financial extremely financial for us and that's good that's good 
Um, I think because what it does is, oh, okay, there you go. Um, what it does is it gives us, it gives us um, kind of power, kind, kind of protection in a way, or it just reaffirms our strength and our power and our ability to have control of our own lives. Okay, so the spirit guided messages or the animal animal spirit guide messages, um, armadillo. This is leaving yourself wide open, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here because I don't think it's a bad thing. I honestly think it's saying to you that you need to leave yourself wide open and you need to be vulnerable and you need to forego that crusty crab shell that you hide in. And you need to just let yourself be laid open. And and I know that it's uncomfortable and it's scary, but what the cards are saying is this is what you need right now. There is protection. Like, like let yourself go. Um, stop being over defensive or over protection. Take time out from being a bear or an aggressor in terms of protecting other people or in terms of being mama bear. Take time out, take time out because you're being protected. That's what this card means is that you can take time out and you can set back right now because you are being protected. And so if you scream and yell your head off um, and you thought, oh my God, I can never do that. If I act like that, I will just, they'll break up with me. No, you're protected. It's almost like you're starting to realize that it's starting to realize that you can let your guard down and you're still loved. That's really beautiful energy. Um, let's see what the hell this all this is. Tend to the small things. And this is way in the past. Oh, this is also Virgo energy. Very tedious energy that is very difficult to deal with. It's just like a lot of tedium. Um, where you where there's one mouse, there's 400 in the walls. So in other words, there's there's something that is alluding to a bigger issue or a bigger problem. Or basically being facetious. It could just be the having to be very pedantic about something that you're writing. Or like I said, especially if you're dealing with like legal documents or something like that. It's like it's those tedious things that are really getting to you. But they're the secret to your success. I'm just letting you know. Um, this is it. Use your mind wisely. You really have to go over and over the 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 um, fine print. This is about you. Please read the fine print, um, Cancerians. Uh, it's important. I know you don't want to do it, but you do because there's something coming in here that the fine print is about laying a solid foundation. So the fine print, the the more you recognize it, the more you read it, and the better you read it. The, the better it's going to be for your future. So be very, very, um, be, just be very cautious of that fine print and be sure that you read it over and over again. It's not a bad thing. This isn't bad stuff. This isn't a warning, but it's, it is a warning. It's almost like you can be playful. You can be happy. You can be light, but you also have to be extremely aware right now. I don't think it's like red flag. Somebody's trying to screw you. No. What I think is that it's just, there's such a burden right now of dealing with this tedious, um, the tedium, the fucking tedium. I hate it. But lay a solid foundation has everything to do with getting through those bits and pieces and the stupid little shit that is so irritating. Oh, but this is more playfulness. And this is Aries energy. Claim your independence from all that crap and all that craziness. Um, but also claim your independence by tackling that crap and craziness. Also, what I want to say is cats eat mice. Yeah, cats eat mice. So eat it up. Like use this, at, use all that tedium. In other words, that tediousness is fueling uh, an independent future. You know, if you are, when you, when you eat all that shit up, it's actually what is setting you free in, in a crazy way. Um, because you're confronting it, you're dealing with, you're getting on top of it is what you are. Like a cat pounces on that little mouse. It's getting on top of it and it's, it's staying on top of it. So stay on top of your shit. I think that's what basically all the cards are saying. Cancerians stay on top of your shit. Even if, even if you have to blow up, blow your steam, do it, do whatever you got to do, but you got to stay on top of your shit right now. Why? Because whether you realize it or not, you are chugging right into a fortune. I'm just letting you know. Think on your feet. Improvise, man. That's what this is. The foxy loxy, baby. Um, the fox comes up to say you got to be malleable. You got to improv. Don't think too far ahead. And don't, don't, ex no expectations, please. Because what that's going to do, Cancers, it is going to, it's, it's just going to make you, set you up for disappointment. And that's going to hold you back. It's going to be a heaviness. 
Don't. No expectations. Just move forward. This is also movement. This could also suggest foreign travel. Just saying. There's a lot of foreign travel all over here. There's moving around, right? So there's definitely uh, be here now. Be in this present moment. Now is a beautiful fucking time. When hummingbird shows up, there's just so much playfulness and abundance and beauty that is coming into your life. And when it says it's here now, it's it's so close. You I embrace the in between. This is also Libra energy. So ignore this right now because this is coming to you you don't have to worry about it right now what you have to worry about is not worrying you have to embrace this in between period and the way to embrace it is to bust your ass and to work 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 and cross those t's dot those i's and edit those papers five thousand times make sure that you are pedantic about everything that you do right now because honestly that focus on those specifics is generating um, the quality of life. You're, it's like you're generating your own quality of life. It's like every time you catch a miscalculation, you add a thousand dollars to your banking account, type of thing. That kind of energy is like it's like you are telling the universe right now, I don't want peddly shit. I want masterful shit. And that's why you have to be showing that right now. That's what you have to. You have to assume that role. Clear out the clutter. Oh, we are letting go. We're, we're done with the old shit. This is a transitional card. That means that you are transitioning from one phase of your life into another. You are no longer that little tadpole that has to be subject to the waves. You are now somebody that has legs and you can jump and you can swim and you can do both. So this is you really coming into a matured role. You're much more in control of your life. And then surrender now like a moth to a flame. Just fly right into it. Fly right into what? Fly right into your future and your opportunity. And trust you must keep moving forward. Don't look back. No matter how tedious this shit is that you have to deal with, don't look back. Keep looking forward. Spirit wants you to keep moving forward because it wants you to know that there is so much waiting for you. Um, there's love. There, it's always been there. This is a sense of, it's almost like your karma that this is coming around. This, this abundance has always been waiting for you. It's just, it's just, it's always been waiting for you. It's guaranteed to you. Um, and it could be a very emotional time, right? It's also a sense of cancer. If you gotta cry, cry. If you gotta scream, scream. If you gotta rip, uh, throw fucking dishes, throw fucking dishes, but keep moving forward. No matter what you have to do, it is gonna be emotional for you but just just keep going um nothing this is also a uh, Sagittarius energy very travel travel oriented I don't know where you're going but there's something coming up for you in terms of travel be very pedantic about the travel be almost like almost like obsessed with the details and demand that somebody gives you the seat that you want and the time that you want like do it like seriously be facetious about it it's what you have to do right now. Nothing is wasted. This is treasure in the trash heap. You know, just when you thought you were picking at scraps, you weren't. You found the golden ticket like um, in Willy Wonka. That's what it is. It's like you don't really realize what you're verging on right now, but it's a new beginning. It's a new start. Um, and it's definitely something that you are prepared for. You're ready for this. You're you're fucking ready for this. Oh, I love you guys. You've got this. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I'm going to head into the angel messages right now. Please stick around. Uh, you can always go right over to the extended reading because I'm going to suss out a lot of freaking details. We're going to extend this reading through tarot over the extended where your romance reading is as well. Um, so please do join me for that. Uh, you can subscribe directly to Vimeo too. And you actually then get access to the extended. almost like a day before um, they come out in a link on these uh, YouTube videos. So you could do that too. Uh, join me on born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram because I do a daily reading over there. Monday through Friday, um, I interact and I do a daily reading for everybody. So I would love to have you join me over there. And of course, I release a new cancer specific video here and on Vimeo 
every single Friday. So you can, you can be sure that I'm releasing cancer specific content every single day, uh, every single Friday. And, um, yeah, look for it. Definitely look for it because it comes out between five and six a.m. California time, Pacific time. So it's always going to be there for you every Friday morning. All right. So please do click subscribe and help the channel grow. Let's get into the angel messages. Mm. Oh, cancers, 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 cancers. Okay. Mm. All right. So don't feel stuck. And don't feel like you only have two choices because you don't. Middle path has come up for you. Embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to a balanced and more peaceful life. There is a midway for you. There is not just two ways. You are not stuck. Don't five, five, five. Oh my God, there's huge changes coming for us. There's huge changes. There is not just the past that you expect. There is something else. There is another path. There is another way. Cancers. Trust your intuition. Your intuition will guide you there. Sacred knowledge. I told you. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love. You already know the answer. It's already inside of you. So follow the path that your intuition is putting you on. Oh, divine intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow, yeah, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. And it's coming. I'm telling you that timing is now or soon. Um, look for that new moon. It's all over the place. Diversity. Uh, the world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are special and much loved. Hello. So in other words, you're about to be acknowledged. Um, you're about to find your place. Even if you've always felt like the oddball out, the one that just doesn't fit in, it's okay because there's a place for oddballs too. Archangel Uriel is here. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and our world. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind, unite in harmonious balance. It's not just you, Cancers. You weren't in this all by yourself. The universe had to align for you too. That alignment is here. Ooh, Archangel Metatron. This is another look at link between heaven and earth. I'm... That's crazy. I am your link between heaven and earth. Archangel Metatron is like the voice of God. Um, between your humanity and your divinity, I am here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Feel me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. The middle path. You can't even make this. You just can't even make it up. Forgiveness. Let the past go. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. No, it's not about forgiving them. It's about forgiving yourself. It's about forgiving yourself, not being ashamed. And it's all that self-defeating belief of, well, I just don't deserve it. Well, nobody will notice me. Well, it's never going to happen. That's what you need to let go of. That is forgiveness. That is forgiveness for all the disappointments, all the shit that's happened. Let it go. It's in the past. It doesn't have any effect or power over you anymore. Courage. Mm, you have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. They've wanted you to do this since the moment that you were born. It's why you were born. Don't forget that. Kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. When you're kind to yourself, you set the example for others to treat you as well. Guess what? Somebody's about to give you a big old break. And then heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Listen to that intuition. If it doesn't feel right, don't let your heart take talk you out of it. Speak up and demand what you need so your heart stays safe and beating. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. 
Choose through love, not fear. Let's get some dirt over in tarot, down in dirty bit. Let's get the specifics. Um, that link is below. Cancers, I love you. I'll see you over there.